Hi guys, hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to learn about closure. Closure is a technique by which the value of a variable is remembered which is present inside the enclosed scope even when the variable goes out of scope. Let me give an example to make you understand this. Let me take the important things that is required for any Go programming language that's your package main, import fmt and function main. Before that, let me create a function called as myfun and let me take a parameter called as greet which is of type string. Now in this function, I am going to create an inner function. right? So whenever I am creating an inner function, I cannot give a name for it. I may need to create an anonymous function. Func and then say name string. Now I am going to create an anonymous function and here I will say fmt.println and I will say greet which is there in the outer functions uh, parameter and name that is the inner functions parameter. Now from here consider I am going to return this function right return the inner function. When I say I am going to return the inner function without the name of the function I cannot return. Since it is an anonymous function let me store it inside a variable called as fun. Right. So when I say I'm going to return, uh, store this variable, uh, uh, store the reference of this function inside this fun, I can return fun from here. I'll say return fun. So what's happening? I'm creating an inner function and referring that to a variable called this fun. So since I'm returning the function, I may need to have a return type for this outer function. That's fun, and the type is string. And the function doesn't, this function, inner function doesn't return anything, so I didn't give anything here, right? So the type of this function is func and the parameter type is string. Now let me call the function from here. I'll say my fun and let me pass hi. So when I call this function my fun and pass hi, this function my fun will be called and the parameter greet will be stored with hi. And it comes inside and this function is defined it is not called it's just defined and from here I say return fun it means that I am returning this function back to the function call so let me store it in a variable called as hi now hi will be stored with fun now from here let me say hi and let me pass Samuel so when I do this the function fun right the reference of that function uh, anonymous function fun will be called and it will be passed with the uh, value samuel now when it comes here right this function will be called but here when i say return fun what is happening this function is going out of scope right i'm totally coming out of this function so when i come out of this function the variable greed is going out of scope it is no more present but even though it is going out of scope, right, the value of the variable is remembered. That is the beauty of closure, right? So even though I am coming out of this function, it is there inside my enclosed scope. This is remembered inside my enclosed scope, right? The greed will be remembering the value high still. Now here when I say name, it is stored with Samuel. And when this function high is called, name will be stored with Samuel and I come here in uh, fmt print ln greet what is greet greet is hi and name is Samuel so it will print hi Samuel let me run this code for you you're getting the output hi Samuel right if I'm going to call the function one more time I'll say hello let me create a variable called as hello and I call the same function and I pass hello now you may wonder, since it is going out of scope, which it will remember, right? The greet will remember uh, either hi or hello, right? Let us check what's happening. I'll say hello and I'll pass Edison, right? Let me explain you again. So here, my fun will be called and greet will be stored with hello now, right? And then at the fun, the reference of this inner function will be returned back to hello when I say hi Samuel and hello Samuel what will be printed that is what we are going to see now right so let me run this code for you 
so you can see it is remembering both right even though I am uh, coming out of this function even though the greet is going out of scope still the closure technology helps me to remember both hi and hello whichever comes here the greet will remember it first hi came it remembered and then hello came that also remembered by the function so that this uh, reference helps me to return it back and then remembers both hi and hello now i can also do one more thing right instead of storing it in a reference instead of storing it in a reference what i can do is that i can just say return from here itself directly right so let me do it separately for you let me comment this out totally i'm just giving you an alternate method now instead of this return i can remove this return from here and directly i can say Return. right this uh, I want you to just look into this difference right here I have used a reference variable called as fun I am storing the reference of this function here in this variable fun and from here I am saying return fun right instead of that what I am doing I am just directly saying return so what happens this function reference is being returned directly here right so let me save and run this code for you Okay, both does the same work either I can just store it in a variable and then return that variable or I can just directly say return and the inner function fine guys I'm done with this video if you have any doubts or queries please comment in the comment section I'll definitely get back to you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much